A Prairie Dog's Life, written by Julie Mettenberg. The Big Day. Spring has come to the prairie. Today, Charlie will go outside for the first time. Charlie has lived his first few months below ground. Charlie is a black-tailed prairie dog. But is he really a dog? No! Prairie dogs are actually squirrels, part of the rodent family. Meet a black-tailed prairie dog. Pioneers named the prairie dog because they thought the animal's call sounded like a dog's bark. Charlie loves his warm, cozy burrow, but he wants to go outside. Lucky Charlie! Today, his mother will take him and his three sisters above ground. They will learn about the big world outside. Prairie dogs kiss to find out if they live in the same place. Welcome to the prairie. The prairie part of Charlie's name comes from his habitat. All of the world's grasslands, or prairies, have burrowing mammals that create underground homes. In the United States, that animal is the prairie dog. When he is grown, Charlie will weigh 1.5 to 3 pounds. Standing on his rear feet, he will be about one foot tall. That is about the size of a large squirrel or a guinea pig. There are five types of prairie dog. They are the Gunnison, Black-tailed, White-tailed, Mexican, and Utah prairie dogs. The Black-tailed are the most common, living on lowland prairies. Home below ground. Charlie's underground home is called a coterie. Each family has its own small coterie, a hole that is made up of small rooms. Many coteries together make a prairie dog colony. One colony can spread for hundreds of miles and house thousands of dogs. These areas are where the five types of prairie dogs make their homes. Charlie and his sisters poke their noses outside their burrow. The sun is so bright compared to the dark underground, but it is wonderful. They climb out of their burrow and over the mound of dirt at its opening. All around them is short prairie grass and plants. A prairie dog peeks out of its burrow. Charlie's underground home. A the main mound, B, the listening post, C, the toilet, D, dry room for floods, E, the loop, F, nursery for babies, G, the second entrance. Do you know? One prairie dog colony in western Texas grew to be 100 miles wide and 250 miles long. It was estimated that 400 million prairie dogs lived there. Danger. Charlie and his sisters begin to explore. Before long, a prairie dog's sharp bark cuts through the air. Yeep, he shouts with a hop. He has spotted danger. Yeep, Charlie's father replies. All of the prairie dogs stand tall and alert. Even though there is danger, they stay. The dogs will stay very still and watch until the danger goes away. A prairie dog stands alert to danger. What might the danger be? Many predators hunt prairie dogs. Predators include coyotes, bobcats, prairie falcons, black-footed ferrets, and golden eagles. Perhaps the biggest danger of all is humans. Some people think prairie dogs destroy the land. These people try to harm prairie dogs by destroying their homes or killing them. Other people believe prairie dogs are important because their burrows bring air and water to the soil. Burrows also provide hiding places for other animals to escape predators. A weasel pokes its head out of a prairie dog burrow. Summertime for Charlie. Not all yips and barks signal danger. 
Some yips or barks signal a prairie dog is lonely or upset. Now Charlie hears more yips and barks from the older prairie dogs that signal it is safe. The threat is gone. Charlie and his sisters like playing outside in the sun. They will spend most of their summer outside. Prairie dogs play and eat around this mound entrance to a burrow. As summer turns to fall, they will prepare their burrow for winter. During winter, they will rarely go out into the harsh weather. Early next spring, the older females will have babies. And in late spring, Charlie will be an adult male. He will share in the watchdog duties. He will probably start a family and build his own coterie. Baby pra prairie dogs stay in their burrow until they are old enough to go outside. Glossary. Burrow. A hole dug in the ground by an animal. Colony. A group of animals living together. Coterie. The home of a family or the home of a family of prairie dogs. Habitat. The natural environment of a plant or animal. Mammals. Warm-blooded animals that have hair. Pioneers. First non-natives to settle in the western United States. Prairie. Flat grassy land. Predators, animals that eat other animals. The end.